Who is the coolest woman you and I have ever known? Anna Riley, eighth grade. They've been best friends since childhood. Now Jake is a rabbi. Brian is a priest. And Anna is all grown up. You start. Catch us up. I work like 100 hours a week. I have a relationship with my phone. It's set to vibrate. Wow. Brian, can I ask you a question? Is this a sex talk? Do you miss it? No. Nope. Are you tempted? No. Nah. So, what's your chick situation? This whole congregation is trying to set him up. Hi. Punch me. I'm not gonna punch you. Are you some kind of wuss? Oh, are you okay? Touchstone Pictures and Spyglass Entertainment present. What are you doing here? I don't know. What am I doing here? Oh, once in my life, I have so Did you want to come up? I. Get out of here. Whoa, no, whoa, no, no, no. go, go. Come on. Go, go. Ben Stiller, Edward Norton, Jenna Elfman. Woo! I'm in love with Jake. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keeping the Faith. See me being a father? No. Well, I could see you fathering children. I couldn't see you raising it. I would raise my own chalupas. Well, we're definitely not having any kids together. We're gonna be calling them chalupas. It's probably your mother. You have the worst time we have. Montgomery broken in? I'm agent flood with the Drug Enforcement Administration. Are you and guys I grew up with? What do we say to them? We'll say nothing. He's going to hell for seven years. What am I going to do? Wish him luck. Champagne for my real friends and real pain for my sham friends. Can't believe you brought my student in here. You haven't done anything wrong yet. What do you mean yet? She's the only girl I've ever kept fantasizing about after I slept with her. Is that normal? That's a pretty good kind of normal. We haven't talked about this at all. You know, this is our last no. night. It's not our last night, my last night. I watched him ruin his life. The last 10 years, I've been watching him get deeper and deeper. I look at these people around me and I, I'm thinking, these are my friends? Dude, I don't even know these people. He doesn't trust me. What reason does he have not to trust you? I got one idea, but I need a big favor from you. Now, if he runs, he's gone. He ain't coming home. If he pulls the trigger, they close the casket. They lock him away, he's gone. You'll never see him again. Stay with me. No, I gotta do one more little thing. I wanna hold you, but my hands are tied. Years from now, you gather your family together, you tell them the whole story. Who you are, where you come from. And then you ask them if they know how lucky they are to be there. This will be the best night of my life. Best night of my life. Yes! 
Vorstein? Rachustein? Ausgezeichnet. insane idea, but if I don't ask you this, it's just gonna haunt me the rest of my life. I have no idea what your situation is, but I feel like we have some kind of a uh, connection, right? Yeah, me too. Great. So listen, here's the deal. This is what we should do. You should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town. We just got into Vienna today and we're looking for something fun to do. Sprechen Sie English? Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, can we speak German for a change? Now I'm gonna call my best friend in Paris, who I'm supposed to have lunch with in eight hours. Okay? Okay. Ding, ding. Pick up the phone. Uh, oh, hello. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it for lunch today. I'm sorry. I met a guy on the train and I got off with him in Vienna. We're still there. Are you crazy? Probably. He has beautiful blue eyes, nice pink lips, frizzy hair. <laughs> I love it. I like to feel his eyes on me when I look away. He couldn't possibly know why a night like this is so important to my life right now. But it is. Since we're never going to see each other again, I don't think we should sleep together. Let's see each other again. No, I don't want you to break our vow. Just so you can get laid. <laughs> I like lucky we don't bite off the head after mating. Certain insects do that, you know, like spiders and stuff. Mm -hmm. We at least let you live. He was a pickpocket. He thought that anything was better than prison. Little did he know what he'd escaped from wasn't half as strange or frightening as what he'd stumbled into. I do not believe what I believe, Lord. These are magical, unexplainable matters, and I beg you not to make me a part of them. The I... knight who had saved him wanted only two things, to free his lover and to take his revenge. I have waited almost two years for a sign from God. Ah! Sir, the truth is I talk to God all the time. Ah! And no offense, but he never mentioned you. The pickpocket was the key to his plan. But would you send a thief to guard your treasure? He was the last one in the world to act like a hero. It just happened by itself. And he was drawn into a magical, romantic adventure. Matthew Broderick. Michelle Pfeiffer. Rutger Hauer. Lady Hawk. Some people hear their own inner voices with great clearness 
and they live by what they hear. Such people become crazy, or they become legend. My fiance, Susanna. Hello. It's Nonna. <laughs> so this is Tristan. His spirit had the strength to hold his family together. To us all. No! But his destiny had the power to tear them apart. This is a turning point in the history of the world. Don't talk at me, boys, if I've never seen a war. Help me! Jimmy! That's it! No! Samuel chose to be a soldier, and soldiers die! You know you can't make her happy. I'm gonna try. You will fail. You've been nothing but trouble since you came to this house. Did I damn everybody around me as well as myself? I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Anthony Hopkins, Aidan Quinn, Henry Thomas, and Julia Orman. Legends of the Fall. Sorry, I'm late. <gasps> We didn't ever think you'd leave all Miss. It does take four years, Jolene. I got a job today, writing for the Jackson Journal. Great. You can write my obituary. Charlotte Phelan, dead. Her daughter, still single. Does this dress look kind of made? I reckon when you finish it won't. Thank you. She looked like the winning horse at the Kentucky Derby. I have drafted the Home Health Sanitation Initiative. The what? A bill that requires every white home to have a separate bathroom for the help. Maybe we should just build you a bathroom outside, Haley. Minnie? Hey, Abelie. Hey, Minnie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These women raise white children. We love them, and they love us, but they can't even use the toilets in our houses. Minnie, are you in there? You said to write about what disturbs me, particularly if it bothers no one else. I'd like to write something from the point of view of the help. I want to interview you. No maid is ever going to tell you the truth. That's a hell of a risk to take in Jackson, Mississippi. Courage isn't just about being brave. It's about overcoming fear and daring to do what is right for your fellow man. What changed your mind? God. And Miss Ellie Holbrook. I'm gonna help with your stories. We all are. Y'all brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am, but you about to. It's quite scandalous. Sounds like Jackson, if you ask me. Abeline. Do I have plans for her? You are godless woman. We gone done in now. Hey, what's this? Can you tell me you took him out? The court out? said yes. Yeah, but what did the doctor say? Can I do an interview for a school project on mental illness? No. I'm ready. I feel motivated. I don't feel so angry all the time. 
the whole time you're rooting for this Hemingway guy to survive the war and to be with the woman that he loves. It's four o'clock in the morning, Pat. I can't apologize. I will apologize on behalf of Ernest Hemingway, because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. Pat, you have to have a strategy. I hate my illness, and I want to control it. I hope you're okay with Veronica's sister coming over. Tiffany and Tommy? Just Tiffany. What happened to Tommy? He died. How'd he die? Please, don't bring it up. Hey, Tiffany. This is Pat. You look nice. Thank you. How'd Tommy die? Oh. What meds are you on? I used to be on lithium and Seroquel. I was on Xanax. You ever take Klonopin? Klonopin, yeah. Like, is it what? I'm tired. I want to go. Are you going to walk me home or what? You have poor social skills. You have a problem. I have a problem? Mm -hmm. You say more inappropriate things than appropriate things. Doc, she's crazy. Hey! Whoa, what the hell? She knew where I was. She followed me. Then why don't you run somewhere else? Calm down, crazy. Maybe she just needs a friend. Do you want to have dinner at this diner? Pick me up at 7.30. So how's your job? I just got fired, actually. Oh, really? How? By having sex with everybody in the office. Everybody? I was very depressed after Tommy died. We don't have to talk about it. Thanks. How many were there? Oh, well, she's a mess. You gotta be careful. She does a lot of therapy. I go to a lot of therapy. Am I messed up? I just gotta get a strategy, you know? Me too. So there's this dance thing. I can only do it if I have a partner. Oh, I'm not gonna dance with you. So is this the girl you wrote about? You wrote about me? She's fine. She is my friend with an F. A capital F. She's fine. For friend. What are you so up about? I'm happy. Look, I'm my best self today, and I think she's her best self, and that's a good thing. Lost in my mind, lost in my mind, oh, I... I know you don't want to listen to your father, I didn't listen to mine. But life reaches out with a moment like this, it's a sin if you don't reach back. This is what I believe to be true. You have to do everything you can, and if you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining.